Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this video we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supremes module. What we've got is a little floating button on the side there and when you click on it it's going to pop out an FAQ toggle section and we put this little section together with toggles. Really nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do with Supreme modules so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's delete this little module right here. And we'll start from scratch. OK, so first we've got to build the actual FAQ section. So I'll just start a row. It doesn't matter anywhere where I, doesn't matter where I put it. I'll just put it right here because we'll delete it after we've saved it to our library. Now inside my little row here, I'm going to use a little toggle module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules here, plenty enough to get any site built with. When you add the Supreme modules, you get another 40 that absolutely puts Divi on steroids. It's really, really fantastic addition. So I'm going to go down and add a toggle module. And there it is. And so sort of how do I do this? Put your little questions in here. And we'll save that. I'm not going to edit the text. Obviously put your, your answer to your questions up there. And let's go to our design. Just give it a little bit of style. I'm not going to spend too much time styling on it. I'll just make the title text blue. And bold. And perhaps a little bit bigger. Let's make that bold and let's make it a little bit bigger and I'll add a little bit of box shadow to the actual section itself or to the actual module itself now let's add a background color to our section because I'm going to end up saving this whole section it's the whole section that's going to pop out so let's go into section cog to give it a background color Again, I'll just use something simple like a blue in the content tab down to the background. Hit the blue and let's give it a little bit of padding all around of say 30 pixels. So if we go to spacing, padding, put in the 30, it'll put the pixels in, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. And we'll do the same for left and right. There we go. OK, now I'm going to uh, just simply clone this and I'm going to make a couple more boxes. So I'll pause this video and all I'm going to do is go in and change, change the title, nothing else. OK, so I've added three more there and all I did, I actually aligned the title to the center. The text is still left aligned in there. And I'd like to add just a little title at the top telling people what it is. So I'm going to add a new module, doesn't matter where I add it. I'll simply use a text module and I'll get rid of all this text in here. FAQs, there we go. Let's make that a heading 2 and let's make it white in color and it to, you can go to the design tab or you can hit the little paintbrush here it'll take you straight to where you want to go. Let's make that semi bold. I want to put it in the middle and I want to make it white. Put it in the middle there. Let's make it white. Fantastic. Now I'm simply going to move this up the top. So it's our little title right there. There we have it. Now what I need to do is save this whole section to the library because we're going to use it as a pop up. So I'm going to hit the little round button, save road to library. I'm going to give it a name. I'll say questions. and save it to the library. Now that it's saved to the library we can actually delete it because we don't want it sitting on the page there and we can work on making our little button on the side here. So let's save our changes. There's a couple of things we've got to do and I'll show you. 
let's exit the visual builder now to make this work today you've got to turn these two switches on in the supreme pro to get that dashboard down to supreme pro we're on the general settings you want to make sure you've got enable divi pop-up switched on so it's purple like that or in the right hand position once you've done that save your changes so let's go back to our page and re-enable our builder and we'll build the little button that we're going to use to make it pop out again it doesn't matter where I build this because I'm going to give it a fixed position so it's on our left hand side there we already did one on our right hand side for an email pop out in an earlier video so I'm going to add a new module I'm going to use a blurb module simply so I can use the icon from it so I'm going to click on the blurb module and there it is I'm going to delete the title because I really don't want any text or anything in here at all and I'm going to go on down image and icon I'm going to select use an icon I want to find a nice big question mark I know they've got one down here could use that one but I want one with a background field on it and there's one right there fantastic great so that's pretty much all I need from this module now let's just make that blue so I'm going to go to design image and icon obviously make yours whatever color you wish now because we've got enable Divi pop-up switched to on here I can go back into my module and if we go to advanced and visibility if I slide down a little bit you've now got a little switch that says use pop-up I'm going to switch that to on what do I want it to pop up I want it to pop out pop up a saved layout you've got options for iframes images and videos but mine's a layout today so we need to select the layout that I want it to pop out to which was called questions there it is right there now I want it to trigger on the module click so if when somebody clicks on this module it's gonna pop that out you can do it on a button or an image hyperlink page load scroll exit there's some fantastic options there now to close it click outside the pop-up and it will close that works absolutely fine for me and you can also use an auto close pop-up which will after say set a time period it'll close for you but I don't want to do that today mine's absolutely fine animations I'm going to leave mine on fade you've got plenty to choose from but fade works fine for me the position in the center of the screen where it pops up works for me too and I want it to be absolute in other words if people are scrolling up and down it's still going to stay right where it is and I don't want it to be full width max width that 680 I find works perfectly for me just increase it or decrease it if you find it's not working the way you want to I do want it to show an overlay which means the background will sort of darken out and the default background cover color for the overlay works perfectly for me we've got a close button within the thing itself I'm going to leave mine just on the default here which is inside and it uses just an X icon obviously you want to change that select a different icon and do whatever you wish so we're pretty much good to go here I'm going to save that now it's all well and good but I don't want this thing here I want it to be positioned over here and I want it to stay there when people scroll up and down the site so if we go back in there we can go to advanced and position and where it says position there I'm going to change that to fixed and you might see it's disappeared there it's actually gone right up to the top left hand side there I'm going to put mine right in the middle and you have options to horizontally offset it and if you put it on a bottom or top you can vertically offset it also the Z index is if you're scrolling up and down the site and you find that something goes on top of it and and hides it you need to bring the Z index up because the higher the Z index the more forward it will be on your website but mine's going to work absolutely fine just like that 
I could take it away from the side with a few pixels by just taking adding five pixels there so I think we should be good to go so let's save we'll save our page changes and let's make sure this is going to work let's exit the visual builder and let's go down and check it out and there it is you click on it here's our fact section with our little toggle modules you could have done this with accordion or however you like to do it as well but I like these toggle modules because you can have them all closed at once there's your little close button you can use to close it or we've also got it set if you click anywhere outside it'll close you can see the background overlay there which is making the background dark if I click it's gone and we did a similar one the other day where we had this pop out contact form and you do it exactly the same way so have a look at that video if you want to learn how to do the contact form and that little sort of uh, animation that I created there so there you have it there's an FAQ pop-up toggle section using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.